Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome to an unboxing video for Digimon the Card Game. Yes, it's been uh, some time since I did an unboxing video of anything. <laughs> and of course, finally, I'm starting to do a brand new series for this channel, and it's of course Digimon uh, Card Game Battles. Um, so, yeah, it's it's been a game that has been around for almost two years now. It's actually been released since 2020, and only now uh, would I then start to dabble myself into the card game itself. I have been looking at it for over two years, been contemplating whether I should actually play the game. And finally, here I am. Yes, since I've already bought the start deck for Ragnarok Mon. Um, so yeah, and. This is actually one of the two start decks that was actually released recently. Um, I think this is starter deck 13, so there has been quite a few since its launch. Uh, there are a few of the start decks that have actually been kind of hard to get, I noticed, uh, which I wanted to buy because it's one of my favorite Digimons, um, the Gallonmon line, and apparently it's extremely expensive now because uh, there, there weren't enough uh, made and of course the promo cards that was included inside the start deck um, made the start deck even more um, I would say rare <laughs> because everyone's just buying them up um, so yeah so I had to start from somewhere so why not start with something new so it's the uh, Ragnar Lord Mon start deck so here we have um, so we're gonna take a look at what's inside here so looking at the box itself um, it seems like there are a few things here included. So there is uh, the, the, the main deck which comes with 54 cards. Even though normally a Digimon deck is only playable with 50 cards, then I think the other four cards maybe are the Digitama uh, cards. Then of course there is memory gauge. There's two pieces of the memory gauge. There's also a play sheet. And um, there's also a three index cards not that it's needed but maybe and of course there is reprints of tamer cards so i think this is probably one of the top selling points for this brand new starter deck um, along with the jasmine deck which i will showcase in another video later on so let's break up this bad boy and see what there is okay so let's open this up and see what the contents are and here we have inside the plastic so we have the main deck here so let's pull this out then of course there is the promo and you can see from the front the first thing you see is tai chi uh so yeah let's pop this over so let's put this aside first then of course at the back of the whole thing there is also the play mat all right let's pull out the play mat and take a look at the design so in the front of the play mat as you can tell we have the ragnar lord mon um, I'm not a big fan of the design. It does look very Gundam-ish, but you know, some people like like it. So here at the back, there is also another Digimon. I have no idea the name is. Maybe we'll find out later on while looking through the deck. <laughs> um, I'm an old old school Digimon fan, so a lot of these new Digimons, I have no idea where they're from. Um, I have been watching the TV series up to Ghost Game, um, but yeah, some of these Digimons I really do not recognize. Um, and yeah, there are a few Digimon series that I'm sure a lot of you might not fancy and of course there are, you know, a few that of you who might fancy from what others may not fancy. Alright, so let's pull over, pull out this sleeve holding the decks here. So let's take a look. So we have four copies of the Sak Saktomon. So these are the Digitama. So as you can tell, the baby Digimons have a different backing. Um, compared to the regular deck cards. So yeah, so Digitamamon, <coughs> baby Digimons. So that's pretty cute. They look like dangos <laughs> or manjus. You know, the New Year buns that the Japanese always have. So they always have it stacked on top of each other. That's pretty cute. So four copies. Um, if you guys didn't know the gameplay, uh, probably might make a video teaching how to play the game in the future. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, so yeah, four copies. So like in most of the card games out there, like Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, you can only have four copies of the same kind of card. Um, for Digimon, it only applies to maybe the um, numbering. So for it, this card comes from Structure Deck 1301. You can only have four copies of this Structure Deck 1301 card. Um, you can have 
other Saktomon um, from maybe the booster expansions and all this um, included as well in the deck because they are of a different numbering. All right, so yeah, so let's put this in the raising area because that's where all the baby Digimon go. Then of course we have four copies of this Digimon which is uh, Zuba Zubamon. Yeah, it's Zubamon. So, <laughs> so I I've. I've never seen this Digimon before, maybe because uh, I might be missing a few shows or mu movies and there's a plane flying across the above me now. <laughs> As usual, you guys know, uh, my neighborhood is full of weird noises. So yeah, the four copies of it. Um, and of course, we have this. Oh, this thing, I actually really, really like this Digimon, uh, Zubai Gamon. So the main reason why is because of its actual Digivolution effect. So it allows uh, when when the Digimon that has this as a digi uh, Digivolution. So let's say for example, um, we have evolved over Zubai Gamon. So it will implement its effect when this particular Digimon that is now on top, um, when it attacks, basically, um, then it, its effects comes into play. So yeah, so when it, if, when it attacks uh, and it has the Legend Arms typing in his name so yeah legend arms um so yeah things will happen so your your own digimon gains 3000 wait okay so when there's a black type digimon uh, on your own field uh, a dp 3000 and below opponent's digimon is destroyed or deleted so that's pretty cool um so that's one of the main things that why I like this particular Digimon inside this uh, start deck. So yeah, so we have two copies here of Duramon. Hmm. So it's a level five Digimon, seven thousand DP. So that's not too bad. So there's only two copies. So if you want the play set of it, I guess you have to buy two copies of this start deck. Now of course we have the. I think this is an SR. So so yeah. So. Nowadays, all the modern Digimon start decks come with foils. So SR is technically like the regular high rarity card that you can get from the booster boxes. So yeah, and it has texturing so you can tell if I move the light over the card itself, there's a bit of a texturing. So that's pretty nice. So Durandamon, so that's pretty cool. Very, very cool. Two copies. Then of course, we have Ragnarok Mon. So this is the main key card for this deck as of course um, This is also an SR so it's only two copies and a, it seems like it has less texturing than this one Huh <laughs> That's pretty strange Considering that he is the main key card even the, the the light coming out from his hand doesn't seem to glow as much That should have been really the main key point for this foil. Oh well. So okay, moving along, we have Kotemon. So I'm pretty familiar with Kotemon, but sadly to say, he is a vanilla Digimon. Um, two cost to summon to the field and three thousand DP. Then of course we have uh, Chikurimon. So it's basically like a sea urchin. Um, so yeah, four copies. And of course, I think this Digimon is actually technically the one of the main support cards for this deck. Um, so yeah, it's nice to see that they're actually given four copies of this. Rudomon, so that's pretty nice. Then of course we have this one. So Gardimon, Gradimon. <laughs> okay, so vanilla card once again, but it takes only one cost to digivolve, so that's pretty cheap. Um, so yeah. Usually vanilla cards tend to be like this. They tend to have a higher DP compared to those with effects. Um, then of course maybe the, the summoning cost might be lower. So vanilla cards do play an important role at some point of times as well. So yeah. So four copies as well for this one. Diadomon. Did I butcher the name? Diarudomon. Okay, so yeah. Pretty cool looking Digimon if I had to save so myself. It looks a bit like a Gundam as well, uh, but that's okay. Um, then of course we have Nightomon. 
two copies considering there is a vanilla card i'm pretty surprised there's only two copies uh it is a mixture of the black and red typing so i i can't remember exactly when digimon actually implemented double color typing um initially they do have like a vanilla color then of course it can evolve in from two different colors as well but you know i don't know when this double typing has actually been implemented in the game I, i'm not sure i'm still pretty new to the game so oh wow we've got four copies of rest so previously um this style of holographic design for the cards for the rares now used to be the sr um holographic design for the first few expansions i think it was up to bt3 that they started to change everything or maybe bt4 i'm not too sure but anyways we'll see how uh, the history of digimon goes through it when i eventually open um some of the older packs as well so uh rise rudomon so that's pretty cool it looks pretty nice um yeah but considering that it is a rare style of holographic so it's mainly just the border the main card itself does have a bit of holographic design as well but only the gaps the digimon is still uh plain design doesn't shine or anything like that and here we have the secondary um digimon for the deck even though lord morn is the main one um so how do you pronounce this Buri Uerudramon. <laughs> I think I'm butchering the name for this one, but it's okay. Um, I've never seen this Digimon 2. I have no idea which series it's from, or maybe it's from a particular game. Uh, I have not played all the Digimon games, so like, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm missing a few of my Digimon lore. So yeah, that's pretty cool. It does look a bit like a Phoenix. Uh, I do know there is a Phoenix Mon as well, but or ho -Oh mon so yeah so looks kind of similar and of course we have two copies of this rare um option card um so it's a uh, directo smasha so that's pretty cool so it requires a legend arm i think on the field yeah then uh yeah not sure what it does exactly but looks pretty um important so uh when you have the Dig legend arms trait digimon on the field um, and you have the color typing to use this card so basically you need a red legend arms digimon on the field to use this card uh the highest dp opponent's digimon is deleted oh that's pretty cool that's pretty powerful okay so very very important so there's only two copies so definitely you need to buy two two of the start decks to maybe get a play set so yeah that's pretty pretty interesting then of course we have four copies of another essential um, option card maybe for this theme of play so yeah so what's it called mujun kyoto huh. okay so yeah, I have not gone and checked all the effects for these cards yet, so I'm just reading off the top of the card itself. Um, so, what I've come to know is that this start deck actually comes with a unique play style. Um, basically, where you, if you summon a Digimon on the field, you can actually slot it under a currently uh, active Digimon in your battle area. Um, so yeah, that's it's a pretty interesting new mechanic and. Um, it seems like this start deck actually is rising to the top of um, the meta currently. So aside from this one and of course the other start deck which is Jessmon. So these two start decks are definitely what you will want to try and buy if you're brand new to the game itself. Uh, especially if you're trying to go competitive. So then of course there is this... Um, memory gauge meter so as you can see they gave two co two copies one for each of the main digimons in the start deck itself um so lord mon and of course um, the other bird looking phoenix digimon so yeah so it's plastic pretty good quality yeah compared to the ones that you probably pull up from the booster packs and of course there is this 
other thing here which isn't exactly very important because it's just tutorial cards teaching you how to play uh, and of course considering that I am in a country which actually uses Japanese cards for tournament level play um, if you can't read Japanese there is really no point for this so we're gonna toss this aside <laughs> so anyway guys that's it for the um, starter deck main card so we are going to take a look at the promos that are actually included in these um ragnar lords uh, start deck so let's see what the promos are because these are the promos that actually most of the people are mainly buying the start deck for aside from the main digimons that can be used for tournament play inside this thing so this is really tightly packed all right so first of all we've seen tai chi already so let's take a look who else is available so we have um daisuke i think uh i can't remember his english name i think it was davis um i watched most of the digimon series in in japanese so tai chi i always known him as tai chi instead of tai um except considering that digimon adventure i watched it in chinese of course in my country when digimon adventure um, first release it was technically in chinese <laughs> so yeah so only later on would i uh, watch the series in japanese but for digimon adventure zero two i definitely watched it in japanese so De uh, Dai daichi is definitely his name um this is actually one of the most expensive tamer cards right now um, for meta play so definitely a lot of the, the, new, the older players are buying the start deck for this mainly just to get this parallel foil version of Daisuke um, then of course we have TK of, or rather also known as Takeru so yeah very very cute boy sadly to say he's not the more powerful version of himself uh, this is definitely from the um, half deck start deck that was first featured when the game started so yeah then of course we have uh what's his name i can't remember his name i always known him as the emperor <laughs> so uh ichijo g ken so i uh, yeah ken ken so ken san <laughs> so yeah ken san i don't really see a lot of him being played then we of course we have i think his name was easy in english so it's joe uh, uh, Izumi Koshi, Koshiro so yeah that, that's his Japanese name so Izzy is his English name if I'm not wrong then of course we have Yamato which is also known as Matt in English so yeah so these are the reprinted Tamer um, cards that are now in the parallel foil version so that's pretty nice design considering they have texturing now of course the foil look does look pretty cool as well yeah so guys, that's it. That's all the cards within the uh, Ragnar Lord start deck for ST13, if I'm not wrong, I guess, yeah. ST13, guys, let me know what are your thoughts with the cards within this deck itself. How, how do you like the foil treatment for the Digimon card game? Um, the rares used to be a lot less shinier than they are now, so eventually you'll see it because um, I'm going to open up a booster box of uh, BT-01 which is the very first booster pack for Digimon the card game um, so yeah guys let me know your thoughts of everything in the comment section down below uh, do you miss my unboxing videos are you excited for Digimon the card game being added to my YouTube channel um, eventually I am planning to try and get a bit more serious into this card game uh, like I did back then with Pokemon and of course Yu-Gi-Oh uh, if you didn't know my channel actually started off with Yu-Gi-Oh content and of course it followed on with Pokemon and now we are doing Digimon card game as well so guys if you're excited let me know by hitting the like button on this video comment all your thoughts in the comment section and of course don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video until then, bye!